Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Success in life is one of God's earnest desires for his children. God, himself even gave Joshua from the scripture we just read above, the principles to success. There are two important and indispensable factors that can guarantee success anywhere anytime. One is prayers and another is work. And from our text, these two factors were factored in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This refers to work, that's laboring to read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that references prayers or praying. Because meditation is about reflective and sober thinking which inevitably will lead to praying. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The Bible gives the two acts or actions as the roadmap to success. And God has consistently indicated and wanted us his children to enjoy success and be successful in all we do. Because God himself is not a failure, and like begets like. Our successes are proofs of our acceptance by God and that we are truly his children. And to achieve lasting successes we have got to follow God. For it's him that knows the way to make us successful. And there is no other way to follow God, other than through prayers. And as we pray today for any of our listeners whose successes have been eluding or whose successes have eluded, there shall be a reversal. There shall be restoration to those whose opportunities to excel or succeed have eluded them. For the Bible says in Joel chapter 2 verse 25, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Verse 26 says, and ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Therefore in the name of Jesus, I decree restoration unto you, my dear listener. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory, I come to you this hour in the name of Jesus. For you said in your word in St. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Therefore, Father, I come with my listeners this hour, I ask that you give them last rest from laboring with little or nothing to show for it. Give them rest from working like elephants and eating like an ant. Give them rest from fruitless labor. Give them rest from spiritual attacks and diabolic manipulations. Give them rest from living from hand to mouth. Give them rest from slow and stunted growth and progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father let their stars begin to shine. Give them speedy and instant recovery from wherever they have been delayed or stagnated. In the name of Jesus. And dear Father, because your will for your children is progress and prosperity, I therefore pray for them, my listeners. Lord push them to make progress and to have good successes in every area of life their health, love life, family lives etc. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that fellow who has consistently failed begin to have consistent successes from now, in the name of Jesus. I proscribe and banish failure forever in the life of every listener now, in the name of Jesus. From today, may none of my listeners know failure again in their lives, in the name of Jesus. Let it be unto them from today, from glory to glory, after the order of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, which says, But we all, with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Lord let it be so for every listener here and now, in the name of Jesus. May failure never locate nor know their address again from today. In the name of Jesus. Restore unto them, as you promised in your word of Joel chapter 2 verse 25, which says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Dear Father Lord, let the last failure they had be the last failure they will ever witness in their business, career, ministry, 
and in all areas of their endeavor. In the name of Jesus, let failure and oppression run away in the lives of these listeners. In the name of Jesus, let oppression and manipulation of the devil and his darkness be far from them. In the name of Jesus, I baptize them with the spirit of grace, grace for success and exploit in all that they do. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, grant them all round success in what they do or what they will ever set their minds on to do. Let them join the league of other successes both in the Bible in the past, and even in our contemporary time, men and women whom you graciously favored and graced with diverse successes like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Joseph, Daniel, Lord Jesus Christ, Paul and host of others, too numerous to mention. Let this grace not be limited to only them my listeners, and at their time but let it be extended to their families, offsprings, and all who will come in contact with them in good faith until they have become a generational blessing after the order of Abraham whom the Bible says in Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. In the name of Jesus, let the life and lineage of my listeners be the epitome and perfect examples of what the Bible describes as good successes, in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord protects and perfects their success in accordance with your word of Psalms 138 verse 8, which says, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, forsake not the works of thine own hands. In the name of Jesus. And dear Lord, because your word says in Job chapter 22 verse 28, that thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I hereby decree marital success, financial success, academic success, career success, and health success for every listener here, in the name of Jesus. I banish and abolish failure, stagnation, backwardness, slavery, servitude, near success syndrome for them and their loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be unto them after your promises of Deuteronomy 28 from verses 2 to 13. Let them be blessed in the city, and be blessed in the field. Let the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep be blessed. Let their basket and their store be blessed. Let them be blessed when they come in, and when they go out. Cause the enemies that rise up against them to be smitten before their face, if they shall come out against thee one way, let them flee before them seven ways. Command dear Lord, your blessing upon them in their storehouses, and in all that they set their hand unto, and bless them in the land which you have giveth them. Establish them a holy people unto thyself, as you have sworn unto them, if they shall keep your commandments, and walk in your ways. Let all people of the earth see that they are called by your name and they be afraid of them. Make them plenteous in goods, in the fruit of their body, and in the fruit of their cattle, and in the fruit of their ground, in the land which you swore unto their fathers to give them. Open unto them dear Lord, your good treasure, the heaven to give them rain unto their land in its season, and bless all the work of their hand, that they shall be lending unto many nations, and shall not be borrowing. Make them the head, and not the tail, let them always be above and never beneath. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father Lord for your answer. For in Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Congratulations. For further assistance particularly as it relates to prayers and counseling, you may indicate interest in the comment box. Congratulations once more. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video, subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.